everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I am showing you guys my TBR shelf. So I did a TBR bookshelf tour last year which I will link down below but obviously that was a year ago and I kind of wanted to do an updated one to show you guys what I still have on my bookshelf, what I don't have on it anymore. So I figured I would just show you guys my bookshelf. So if you don't know what TBR means, that means to be read. So all of these books on this shelf are books that I need to read, um, that I want to read. So as of February 8th, these are all of the books that I have on my TBR shelf. And I asked you guys on Twitter if you wanted me to show you each book or just show you each shelf in detail and most of you voted for me to show each shelf in detail so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I feel like that also takes less time than showing you each book so. I also have around 90 books on my TBR shelf which is insane. Obviously I talked about my goals for 2019 in my goals video which I will link down below but one of my goals was to read at least half of my TBR shelf this year which I know I can do but um, seeing it now and like counting how many I have it's kind of crazy oh yes and my book shelf itself is from Ikea it's a Billy bookshelf in the it's like the half shelf I'll link it down below as well all right so let's just get on to the tour okay so this is what the shelf looks like from afar all right so this is the top shelf i have if we were villains by m l rio meet cute emergency contact one small thing most of all you then up there i have special topics in calamity physics by marshall pestle I have Trust Me You and Other Lies by Nicole Williams, The Boy Next Door, uh, Ruthless by Lexi Blake, Chasing Red, Off the Ice, The Thing About Love, and then I have all my K.A. Tucker books that I need to read. Now onto shelf two, I have The Complication by Suzanne Young, War Storm by Victoria Aveyard, Wild Beauty by Anne-Marie McLemore, I think. Uh, War Cross by Marie Lu. Everything Beautiful is Not Ruined by Danielle Young Ullman. Um, Hold Me Like a Breath by, I think, Tiffany. Yes, Tiffany Schmidt. One of Us is Lying. Uh, Summer of Supernovas. If There's No Tomorrow by Jennifer L. Armitrout. I have As She Fades by Abby Glines. And The Girl with a Clock for a Heart by Peter Swanson. Then this is shelf number three. These two I have right here because they are my TBR jar picks for February. So I have Immortal Rain by Morgan Rhodes and The Bourbon Kings by J.R. Ward. I have The Renegades by Marissa Meyer, Listen to Your Heart by Casey West, uh, The Gallery of Unfinished Girls by Lauren Karks, I think. Um, Forbidden by Kimberly, what is it, Kimberly Griffiths Little, Geekerbella, Alex Approximately, Down Among the Sticks and Bones, The Smell of Other People's Houses, Charming Strange, and then I have a couple of Katie Cotugno books, How to Love 99 Days Top 10. Then I have Without Merit by Colleen Hoover. Now onto the fourth shelf. So I have a couple of mass market paperbacks just in front because they're kind of awkward and they don't really fit anywhere. So I just kind of keep them up front, stacked them. I had them standing up at one point, but they just didn't look that good. So they're just kind of like this. So I have a Lothair by Cressley Cole. Um, I have an arc of Strictly Confidential by Linda Archer. The Duchess Steel by Tessa Dare, and The Duke and I by Julia Quinn. And behind that, I have Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco, Abandoned by Meg Cabot, I think? Yes. Bound to You by Lisa Brandon, Guilt by Catherine Longshore, A Season 4, Fireflies by Rebecca Maisel, 
Then I have The Reckoning of Noah Shaw, His True Queen, My Brilliant Friend, Inland, The Letters to the Lost, How to Disappear, Zodiac, How to Catch a Killer, and Fireworks. Um, if you're wondering why this book is not with the other Katie Katungno books, there's no reason. It's just how I stacked them. Now onto the fifth shelf. So I have one random mass market paperback right there, and that is Disorderly Conduct by Tessa Bailey. And behind that, I have Bad Romance by Heather Demetrios, A Place No One Knows by Brenna Yovanoff, Black Eyed Susans by Julia Hub Huberlin, The Girl at Midnight by Melissa Gray, I have Vengeful by V.E. Schwab, Shade Me, Unwind, My Unscripted Life, Save the Date, all the Ugly and Wonderful Things, The Kind Worth Killing, and A Little Life. And then here is the last shelf. It's honestly a little bit of a mess. I haven't really organized it, but it works. It doesn't really bother me. So right here I have a couple of mass market paperbacks. I have The Darkest Pleasure by Gina Showalter. I have Escapade by Deanna Palmer. The Chosen by J.R. Ward. And Good Time with Cowboy by Macy Yates. And then I have my box set of the Harry Potter series, which I'll take out in a second. Um, so then right here I have the Divine Comedy uh, by Dante. It's actually a really, really pretty copy. It's an illustrated version of the Divine Comedy. And I'm so, so, so excited to read this. It is by William Blake. Um, I'll just show you a couple pages because well, why not? So yeah, it just has some really beautiful illustrations, and I just think I am so excited to read this. I have been fascinated by Dante since reading um, Gabriel's Inferno by Sylvain Renard. Um, his books made me so interested in just history and... Um, beautiful art and so I'm very very excited to read this um, and I got this from Indigo by the way so that goes right there then I have The Secret Place by Tana French I have a couple of mass market paperbacks I have Tempt Me at Midnight by Lisa Klepes I have Dreams of a Dark Warrior by Cressley Cole and Twilight in French. It's such a pretty book. It has like red pages. Oh, it's so pretty. I really should start reading this. And then right beside it, I have Broken Monsters by Lauren Bukes and I do have Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Yes, I do have a box set of Harry Potter and no, I have not read the entire Harry Potter series yet. I've read the first three but I never continued on and I bought the box set, I bought this box set years ago, like maybe five years ago at Costco. They were selling it for like $60 and it was kind of like an early Christmas present from my parents. I can't remember what editions these are, but they are paperback by the way. Uh, I've talked about them in videos before and stuff, so Yes, um, I love this box set. I can't wait till I actually decide to read Harry Potter, which hopefully will be soon. And sadly, I just don't have it displayed on my shelf because I need the shelf space. So I just tuck it away like that. And then obviously I do have The Cursed Child, which I don't know why I bought that when I haven't even read Harry Potter yet. Don't ask me. <laughs> and that is it for my entire bookshelf. All right, so that is it for my TBR bookshelf tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll also link my bookshelves that are in my the spare bedroom. I'll link that tour down below because I made that tour last year. So I'll link that one down below. Those are all my red books. This is obviously my to be red books. Um, so I'll link all of the tours. Everything will be linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, follow me on all my other social media, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.